Hey, welcome to the second part of the video and today we're going to learn what is marketing mix. Maybe you've heard about before, but if not, let me tell you that we're going to analyze five factors that are really important in the marketing field. You ready? Let's go. Maybe you've heard about the four piece of marketing before, or maybe not. But right now I'm going to talk about people. Marketers have debated for years whether people should be included as the fifth P of marketing. But without people, there is no point to marketing, which is why I include it here. Effective marketing should begin with an insightful understanding of the consumer. No matter what we're selling, there will be some people that are more likely than others to want to buy it. For example, as a non-smoker, it would be a waste of time and money to try to get me to buy your brand of cigarettes. However, if I were a confirmed smoker, I might be interested in trying a new brand I'd never tried. Discovering your ideal target market and learning all you can about why they do what they do will help you determine the best way to present your product to maximize interest. The second P is for product. Your product, as you know, is anything that can be offered for sale or use to another individual. It includes the quality of the product, the material chosen, the color, size, scent, taste, and every physical aspect of the product. It also includes the packaging of the product. For example, is the product protected or available for the world to see? The design and manufacturing of the product and any research and development on their way to discover better ways to make the product is also part, well, of the product. The product, P, covers everything that goes into the development of the tangible or intangible object. I have my product, but how much should it cost? That leads us to our next P, price. Price not only pays for your cost of goods and profit, it does much more. Price communicates quite a bit about the product and sets quality expectations. It also segments the audience into those who can afford it and those who can only wish they could. And finally, it even conveys how you should consume the product. Even an established brand can charge too much or too little. And you must be aware of it. Okay, I have my product. I have its price. Where should I sell it? That leads us to our next P. Place. Place refers to where and how you sell your product and is also referred to as distribution. To get this P right, you have to decide whether to sell your product in an exclusive boutique or in a huge superstore. When you make it widely available or in a select few stores. These are important and strategic decisions that influence how your product is perceived and the price consumers will be willing to pay for it. For example, how special would a Burberry coat be if you could buy it at a discount store? Some products start with very exclusive distribution, establish a reputation for their brand, and then expand distribution. Apple did this with their iPhone 11, which started in exclusive Apple stores and online, and is now widely available. Consider how your quality expectations change in regard to, let's say, low-cost airlines such as Viva Air compared to Aero Mexico. Place can set quality expectations, don't you think? I have my product, I have the price, I have the place, but how do I get people to know my proposal? That leads us to our next P, promotion. Any way you choose to promote your product is called promotion in marketing. This includes any form of marketing communication such as advertising, public relations, sales promotion, event marketing, as well as any personal one-on-one -on -one selling you do. Hey, that was the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And remember, it is important to chain up all of the information and knowledge from the previous videos. See you for the next class. And our final topic will be the strategic planning and the marketing plan. See you there.